Okay, um, we have prepared several videos on how to handle integration problems that have a radical, that incorporate a radical expression. Uh, they can be lengthy and, and difficult to deal with. Here we're trying to solve the integral of dx divided by a plus b times the square root of x. And the trick here was for b times the square root of x, let that be equal to z squared. So z squared equals b times x to the one-half power. So this would be a plus z squared down here in the denominator. Um, up in the numerator, we have a dx, and we have to get this expressed now in terms of the z variable. So we differentiate, we have 2 times z dz will equal 1 half b x to the minus 1 half dx. And let's multiply both sides of the or multiply both sides of the equations by 2, 1 over b, and x to the 1 half. So on this side, we'll have dx equals 4 times z divided by b times x to the plus 1 half. dz. And x to the plus one half is z squared over b. So we can rewrite this. z squared over b will make the z cubed over b squared. So there we have dx expressed in terms of the variable our new variable uh, z. So this is now going to be 4z cubed divided by b squared dz. So let's make some room here. Here's our original substitution. This is dx now. So let's rewrite the integral. We're going to have z cubed dz and 4b over b squared on the outside, these are both constants, divided by a plus z squared. Okay, um, so we've made the substitution, now we have this integral that we have to deal with. And you notice down here in the denominator we have a constant plus a variable squared. And like we've done many times then, we say let z equal the square root of a times the tangent of theta. And what will dz be? That will be the square root of a times the secant squared of theta d theta. And here then I'm going to have a plus z squared. That's a tangent squared of theta. Back to the a, I'll now have a1 plus the tangent squared of theta, which is the secant squared of theta. So this becomes a secant squared of theta. So let's make some room. And now we rewrite this integral. So we're going to have 4 over b squared 
the integral of z cubed. That would be this cubed. So we'll have a to the three halves times the tangent cubed of theta and times dz, that's this, a to the one half secant squared theta d theta divided by a secant squared of theta, take the a to the outside, secant squared theta. So this and this will cancel. And let's see, here we have a to the three halves times a to the one half. It looks like that would be a squared divided by a, so we'll have 4a over b squared for our constant terms. And then here we're going to have, it looks like the integral of the tangent cubed of theta. And this we should be able to handle. Um, we have 4 over a b squared and we're going to break this up into the tangent squared of theta times the tangent of theta and the tangent squared of theta, this is secant squared theta minus 1. So this we're going to write as the secant squared of theta minus 1 times the tangent of theta d theta. So that's just this integral rewritten using our trig identity here. Tangent squared of theta is the secant squared of theta minus 1. So let's make some room. and multiply. This will equal 4a over b squared integral secant squared theta times the tangent of theta minus 4a over b squared, the integral of the tangent of theta, d theta. Okay, um, let's see. It looks like we should be able to handle these. We forgot to write down our d theta here. The integral of the tangent of theta, that's the natural log of theta minus the natural log of theta. So this part here is just minus the natural log of the cosine of theta. So that's taken care of. And here, um, secant squared theta tangent of theta. Um, if we call this u, that would be du. Uh, u equals the tangent of theta, du will equal the secant squared theta, d theta. So this is just the integral of u du, which is one half u squared. So this would be one half the tangent squared of theta. Okay, so right, let's write this out. Um, 4 times 1 half is 2, so we have 2a over b squared times the tangent squared of theta minus 4a 
minus times minus is going to make this a plus for a over b squared times the natural log of the cosine of theta. So let's see where did all this come from now. We have to go back to here and we had this integral and right here is where we made this substitution and when we did that that got us to this integral which we split into two parts and then we easily solved these two integrals so now we want to go back to our substitution here the tangent of theta will equal z divided by the square root of a tangent of theta equals z divided by the square root of a. Um, so here we have the tangent squared of theta. We know what that's going to be. But here we have cosine of theta. And right offhand, we don't know what that is. So we do what we've done many times before at this stage of the game. We draw the triangle. Here's theta, and the tangent of theta is z divided by the square root of a, and the tangent of theta is the side opposite divided by the side adjacent. So the hypotenuse is going to be this squared plus this, this squared, so we have z squared plus a. Okay. Uh, so now we can use this triangle here to write down what the cosine of theta is. That's just the side adjacent divided by this. Um, so we can get theta expressed here in terms of the variable z here and here. Then we have to go back to here though and get z expressed in terms of x in order to solve our original integral. And we probably won't have enough time to do that in this video here. So why don't you come back, uh, join us in the next video, and we'll pick up where we left off right here at this point.